Hello cellists. This is my second video. I'm very excited that I finally made it to video this stuff for you. And I hope you find it useful. My name is Stephanie Buller. I'm a movement coach. I work with the principles of the Alexander Technique. And I figured out some things that might be useful, especially as a cellist. We're at sitting at the moment. You have already learned about how to use your hip joints, how to stand on your butt and not lie on your back. And in the last video, I showed you some very basic stuff about physics, which means that a small object like a cello can put tremendous effort on a balanced bigger object, with, with it, which is you. And if you don't want to fall over, you have to put muscular effort into not dropping. And I want to give you an idea how to save this muscular effort and just put it into your cello playing. Just efficiently use the power you have in order to create the sound you want to achieve. So, um, But I want to show you the physics. And um, I think as you find it out yourself, and all I'm saying here are ideas for you to play around. Don't believe me anything, check it out. This is the best I have figured out in the last five years working with some hundred cellists. If you find something better, tell me, I'll be happy to hear from you. So what I see with the most cellists is the following choreography. I call it a choreography because it has a rhythm, it has um, a certain order in which things happen. Have a look. So here I am, here's my cello. I'm sitting down, I'm balancing myself. I take the cello to me. I start playing and at some time something like this happens. And as I know that this is not very helpful, the alternative is to overcompensate with my back. And if you're a cellist, you know this. You know that you very, very often fight between this, between dropping and pushing, because you want your cello to be, be stable. You want a good contact point. That's the main issue. The whole thing is not about sitting, it's not being upright. And if you want to have back pain playing, have back pain playing. <laughs> But if you can do it more efficiently and have a better sound, I would go for it, to be honest. And unconsciously, the moment we start playing, as we add additional pressure here and additional pressure here, the whole thing drops. And then it's fight. So I want to give you a new choreography. Try this. Here I am. I stand on my butt. I'm not lying, I'm standing. Now I move towards my cello. I meet my cello halfway. And now I realize I will adjust my anthem. And now I give it a hug to find this new triangle shape balance. I do it for a bit. This always happens whenever I do this with cellists, we all have to adjust our anthem. So again, here I stand, here I stand on my butt. I move towards my cello, my cello comes to me, we meet on the way and I give it a hug. And as I give it a hug, I can really feel that I have three points on the ground now two feet and the end pin. I notice that I quiet down because I have something to hug that's really comforting. And if I would start playing now, I could give a very nice counterbalance from my whole body. So again, stand. Stand. Hinge. From the hip joints, I'm here, hinge, meet, hug, play. So, again, visit me on 
Facebook at leichtbewegen.de. Um, find me on my webpage, sign up to my mailing list, follow my blog posts, all this stuff, blog.leicht-bewegen.de. And I'm really, really happy to get your feedback. I would really love to hear all your criticism, ideas, and of course, if it works for you, I'd be very, very happy. So here we go, happy cello playing.